I'm at the Teton Valley Overlook. This is probably the best view of Teton Valley and in this video I'm going to be exploring the town of Driggs and Teton Valley, the quiet side of the Grand Tetons across from the National Park. So it's a very different view than from Grand Teton National Park. This is the opposite side, far less visited. So Driggs and Teton Valley are one of my favorite places on earth. I'm spending about a month and a half here um, amongst the mountains. Love it here. So much better than being in Indiana. Plus I get to hang out with the most crazy dog in the world, little Daisy Doo here. Hello Daisy Doo. Hi. Look at my camera. Also for some reason my first Driggs video from last year is my most popular video. As of right now it has over a thousand views. It actually hit a thousand while I was here which was cool. Um, so let's see if this one is also super popular. Because most of my videos only get about two views. Welcome to Driggs, Idaho. Alright, I'm in the downtown area. So Driggs is still a pretty small town, but uh, it's growing a lot. Um, definitely not like Jackson across the mountains. Uh, this side of the Tetons, very much less visited. We don't have the national park. Um, but it's still really nice. And here's the main intersection in town. My favorite building downtown is this one with a giant fiberglass bison on top overlooking traffic. And this is the old corner drugstore. Still an old fashioned soda fountain. I'm up on the roof of the Coulter building, right in downtown. You can see there is the buffalo on top of the building and the corner drug. It's really cool up here. There's the rest of Main Street. And right there is the Three Peaks restaurant. And uh, I was supposed to have a concrete job here, um, but that didn't work out. And uh, I ended up getting a two day gig there. And right next to the city hall is the Teton Geotourism Center, which uh, is the visitor center that opened a few years ago. This is a steel sculpture of a bison by Lyndon Pomeroy. He was 77 when he made this and undergoing chemotherapy. And these sculptures are cool too. Not sure which avian these are supposed to be, but I really love junk art. This building is the old Teton County Courthouse, built in 1924. This is one of the old memorials. This is to uh, veterans from World War I, World War II, and Vietnam. They've kept this one here, but there used to be a second one just like this about Jim Bridger, right there about where that rock pile is. Um, and they've recently, in the past few years, moved that one over to the Historical Museum. This building used to be the railroad depot for the town. I think it's a private residence now. This is the new Teton County Courthouse, built in 2009. John Huntsman provided this land and the building. So, I mean, that was cool of him. For a modern courthouse, I do really like the architecture. I love going to uh, small towns in the east and in the midwest with uh, the cool old courthouses from the turn of the century. And uh, a lot of modern courthouses suck, but uh, they did a fairly good job trying to keep with old styles. This is Huntsman Springs, a super rich golf club and resort owned by John Huntsman Jr. 
All this land was bought by John Huntsman, who became a multi-bazillionaire for inventing the Big Mac. He passed away less than a year ago. Now his son, John Huntsman Jr., owns it. He's currently the ambassador to Russia, and uh, he ran for president in 2012. And actually, in that field, they used to hold an awesome Independence Day uh, celebration with awesome fireworks. They don't do that anymore. They just hold a thing for the rich people who can spend millions of dollars to live there. Um, but I was first introduced to politics. So right over there, I saw my first political speaker, the unquestionably brilliant Glenn Beck. You can see in that field, there's a white buffalo. They're pretty rare. They built a replica of the Star Commercial Building. Looks like there's a plane landing at the airport. Several famous people fly in here. I know Harrison Ford does a lot, and uh, Kanye West was here a little bit ago. I've been to about every restaurant in town, but Basin Burger in that gas station is by far and away the best. On that old fire truck right there is the fire warning for today. We're surrounded by national forests. I'm outside of the Teton Valley Museum, which is in my opinion probably the best museum in Idaho that I've been to. Um, I opted to skip it this year. Um, I do have a video from last year uh, that's not narrated. I'll do that next year. But uh, anyways, I did stop by because they have something new. This is an old cabin. It was built by Texan Niall Baylor in the early 1900s. And they do have the inside preserved. It looks like they'll let you in if you pay admission. So I'll definitely do that next year. And now I'm at my favorite spot. This is one of the ultimate Idaho attractions beside the Idaho Potato Museum. The main reason being this massive potato on a pickup truck. The truck is named Old Murphy and uh, as you can see it is being driven by two potatoes and uh, there's all this tin foil in here. Uh, some years they'll uh, like around 4th of July they will uh, turn the big potato into a baked potato and drive this in the Victor Parade. This could very well be the world's largest potato. Um, at the Idaho Potato Museum, they have a pretty big fiberglass one, um, but none of them claim to be the world's largest, so I'm unclear. So uh, this may be it. What's really awesome is that it is still a functioning drive-in movie theater. Something you don't find very often. I am pretty sure this is the world's most unique drive-in theater though. I will not be seeing a movie here, so um, I can't really show the other side of the theater. That is in my old Driggs video, I did go last year. And also the uh, building where they have the snacks is really cool uh, because they have hundreds of vinyl records in the cases lining the walls and the ceilings. And the burgers are really good, it does say famous hamburgers. And on the side here they have a Winnie the Pooh potato thing. And there's the little booth to get your tickets and they have two more giant potato people. I was able to get a view of the screen. It is way better than going to a movie theater. If you're in Idaho looking for a stereotypical photo location, this is it. This is the best spot. So this whole valley used to be known as Pierre's Hole, which is quite a hilarious name. Uh, it's named after Iroquois uh, fur trapper who worked for the Hudson Bay Company. And uh, the Mountain Men fur trappers and the Native Americans used to hold a annual rendezvous here in the valley where they'd uh, kind of exchange beaver skins and all sorts of things. Uh, but one year in 1832, it did not go well. It actually turned into a battle between uh, the Gross Venture, uh, Native Americans, and the Mountain Men and uh, their Native allies. And I'm not for certain, but the rendezvous might have been held right here, and this might have also been the area where the battle took place. The other main town in Teton Valley is Victor, and 
has roughly the same population as Griggs. Not quite as built up, but uh, I'm guessing in the next few years it's going to be built up a lot more. And this is the main tourist spot here in Victor. The Victor Emporium is an old fashioned soda fountain with an awesome Coca Cola vintage sign. This place is famous for its huckleberry shakes. I have not tried one. Seem gross to me. But that's their claim to fame here. I spent about 10 minutes trying to get a shot with me in this and uh, I just can't. All my tripods are broken at this point. My favorite part about it is this mural on the side. You can see there's a bear and a fish enjoying a nice huckleberry shake. Then a moose skiing. And if you follow that road that takes you over the Tetons into Jackson, Wyoming. Victor was also a stop on the railroad. Here's the 1913 Victor Railroad Depot. This station looks pretty much identical to the Drig station, except this one was expanded in 1928. There's the old station sign. You can see for such a long distance, in the valley that you can see rain miles and miles and miles away. Look at that, that is all rain. Looks like it's almost a full moon. So that was the amazing town of Driggs and beautiful Teton Valley, Idaho. Um, I am leaving about now. This is actually the last video I filmed out of all the ones I filmed out here in the West. Um, so I'm sad to leave. It's so beautiful here. Um, but anyways, if you like this video, uh, I have other videos on roadside attractions, museums, all sorts of things. So uh, please go check those out and also subscribe. Thanks for watching.